Well, all parked up. Very short one, this one, by the looks of it. Uh, I suppose that'll give you some clues on where I am. But if not, you'll find out in a bit. But he told me to park at the end of the road, but um, lay-by was full. And then this this road I'm on, whatever it is, <laughs> says access to uh, road access to all traffic or bridle access open to all traffic or something. So I just pop, came up it a little bit, turned round and just parked up on a wide bit. <sighs> So I drove well I drove 45 miles to get here. They're not too far. <laughs> and it was bright sunshine. And then <laughs> I got about three miles away and it was all covered in mist. And I thought well that's all I need. Another misty one. But of course it um, seems to have cleared up now. I mean you can still see over there. <coughs> it's a bit misty. So it's a bit misty. Um, over that way. Well, I spotted another trig point when I was coming as well. So if you're watching this, Chris, um, where I parked up last weekend, um, when I did, was it Thin Cop? Uh, overlooking that viaduct I drove past there about a mile <clears throat> and then I was heading to a place uh, what was it called? War Wardslow or something like that was the next village but sort of a mile past where I parked up for that monsoon head thing um, on the left hand side of me there was a a trig <laughs> about four fields away from the road obviously high up um, but I don't know what it was <laughs> Um, so I don't know if you know I take it it isn't one on the Ethel list I'll have to check the map when I get back in the car so it must be one of the 88 trigs I would assume oh there's the Whatever tower that is. Probably telephone one, I suppose. <laughs> and I take it I'm going over this sty. Style? Well, I can't really remember what to call them now. But, right. view starting to burn off isn't it right I'll just turn it off a second while I get over here well as you can see very short one car down there 
trig there. <clears throat> Even at my walking pace, it's only took about six minutes. <laughs> well. Nice early one, get it out of the way. One more off the, the list. Sir William Hill. Got ya. Oh. Nice easy one peeps. Still every breathing now but right. There's the car down there. <laughs> In fact, I'd have only had to walk, whew, I don't know, probably another three or four minutes if I could have got into the lay-by. But I don't know if you can see much at all. As you can see, the, the mist is still coming up off the, the top of the hills it's a bit clearer that way all round this way look but once you get this side they're directly in the sunlight and that way a little bit as you can see misty as hell right is there a plaque on this one? Is it this side? Oh yeah. So it is. Right. I shall get a picture. And get a 360 on my phone as well, just in case it might might be a bit better. So right. Speak to you in a minute before I get off to the next one. Right. Goodbye, Mr. Trigg. That's what we needed. After the week I've had a right crap week. So, it's probably done me a bit of good actually doing this little, a short little one first. last views before I head off back then so yes <sighs> Sir William Hill another one which was on my map what was sort of nothing else near it to do so I thought with me not having much time today because I'm still looking for you know a, a newer car I've got rid of the camper not to get me out of a mess so I've still got transport I brought that old Ford Focus thing just to keep me going while I was looking for a more modern vehicle and I'm off to have a look at a couple this afternoon but right I'll give you another quick chat when I get back in the car why I'm setting up to head off to the next one <laughs> which depends on parking of course Sir William Hill bit of a 360, it's still a bit misty 6.30 in the morning it is well, near as damn it so you can see the sun's trying to get rid of the mist uh, and the car's just down there. 
Oh well, not too bad I suppose is it? Gorgeous. Right, first one about done, back at call. Sir William Hill. Nothing special, like I say. 20 minutes it's took me to walk there, spend sort of 10 minutes or so at the top taking some pictures and looking at some of the views where, where the mist is rolling over um, and then back to the car so yeah 20 minutes 25 minutes so just a short one made even shorter because where I wanted to park couldn't get in and I noticed it said where I am parked bridle way open to all traffic so I just took a punt drove up it a little bit and there's a big massive wide bit so I just turned around and parked up there and I haven't seen anybody nobody's come up or gone past or anything so it hasn't been a problem to anybody and probably made my my walk I don't know half a mile shorter something like that <laughs> nothing not going to do a lot for my fitness level is it but it's got me back in the mood for getting out here and getting something done. Right, I'm off to another one now, but it's about an hour drive, I think. And there's not much parking there, so I'm hoping to get there and get some parking. If not, I don't know what I'm going to do. But, right, we'll catch you in the next one. Have fun. Bye-bye.